Hello everyone, this is DU7JY. Uh, what we have here today is uh, my ICOM 718. Now, when the ICOM 718 was released, it came in uh, different variants depending on which region it was sold. Uh, what we have here in the Philippines came without a uh, DSP module. Now, the DSP module is called the UT106. Um, I have been using this without the UT106 and I'm quite happy with that. But then, um, I found this uh, module in the uh, internet and thought, you know, um, I, I'd get one and try to see uh, the difference. Here, there is the noise reduction and the automatic uh, notch filter here. If I press this, nothing happens. And it says in the manual that uh, once the UT106 is installed, then this one will be these two buttons will be um, enabled so here's uh, two station on 15 meters and uh, they are both strong station about uh, s7 and s9 looks like a ja and a yb station um, oh, hey, oh my, it's a high boost uh, type so uh, mm, i recommend so uh, uh, the audio is very decent for the ICOM 718 without the without the DSP or anything. Usually when usually when the noise is very no, when the band is very noisy, what I do is just use the attenuator, the the shift, and the uh, RF gain, and that's all I can do to you know control the noise. Let's try to look for stations that are weaker. Okay, so there's a you know S7, S8 station. It looks like a JA station. But uh, yeah, that's how it sounds like. That's the noise that you hear. So let's try to see if we put in the DSP module, if we can hear any uh, difference. Okay, so here it is. I have popped open the bottom uh, cover of the 718. And it says in the manual that it's supposed to be somewhere here. So this is where I should put the uh, UT106. Okay, so instruction says to pull out this plug, which is 2602. Not easy using one hand, but anyway, so I just pull it out like this. And then this, pl this plug is supposed to go in to the UT102 here. And then this wire is going to go in where we pulled out the first plug and this cable here ribbon cable will go to the slot over there okay there it is all installed well i just you know i'm um, put it here i laid it down there it says in the manual no need to put any adhesive to anchor this module so i guess that's it it was a very quick install so let's power up and see okay all right, first thing that I can see from the display is that I can see a DSP there. And there's a... Okay, so there's two stations here. Yes, later. Let's try to press NR, which is noise reduction. Okay. okay. If we listen in on an empty frequency, okay, you can really see that there is a reduction in the uh, background noise there. And the level of the background noise can be adjusted also if I 
according to the manual, long press the NR and then there's the level there and it can go up high to 15 0 to 15 but I don't think it's uh, let's see let's see how it will sound like okay so let's bring it back to 4 oh sorry okay there and then this one the uh, notch filter oh yeah okay so notch filter and the noise reduction are all enabled now okay let's try to okay. Okay, let me turn on the noise reduction hmm I don't know. Um, let's bring it up. <laughs> I don't understand anymore what they're saying. Okay, so not usable up to 15. I don't know, even 10. station for weaker station i think you're good at only four uh noise reduction level four beyond that um now you cannot understand anything anymore but for strong station yes we can go as high as maybe we can go as high as 10. the effect of the noise reduction it's it's it doesn't sound nice so maybe if I were to use this, I would stay at 4 only. Okay. So, there. So, let me compare it to my, how I do, let me compare to how I usually do it without the DSP. So, um, usually I start with the attenuate, attenuation, and uh, try to null out that sound. <laughs> this sounds more natural for me. It's just my opinion. <laughs> I like the sound better. Even with the DSP. So in my opinion, the DSP function is nice to have uh, when you are doing uh, rag chew with strong uh, stations then you know the DSP will really make it more pleasant but for weak DX stations I don't think it's going to help uh, I, I still would prefer these two basic adjustments and that's just me and that is my opinion okay so uh, I hope this helps thank you very much and uh, once again this is DU7JY saying 73 and enjoy ham radio bye